welcome to a brand new episode of WSI TV. Enjoy the show! Welcome back to another episode of WSI TV. Today I am joined by Leah Warren on another installment of Informer Spotlight. How are you doing, Leah? I'm great. How are you today? Pretty good. So we're going to delve into a pretty in-depth topic today, one that you guys have seen tons of times mm -hmm. over the past, what, 15 months in the news? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's been pretty extensive. But before we get into that, I do have to remind you guys to head to WSITV.com to sign up for our daily newsletters there and you get access to all of our free content and you can get into the WSI vault. So yeah, why don't we get into it? All right, yeah. so today we're gonna be talking about the trade war. Um, we're gonna be talking about the truth behind the headlines. So before we get started, mm -hmm. um, you've probably noticed the jar on our table. Yes. Um, this is our company swear jar, but it's not for cursing, it's yes. for trade war. Because in case you hadn't noticed, every headline has to do with the trade war. Mm -hmm. um, but according to our boss, Jim, yeah. um, this isn't even really a trade war. This is more of a skirmish than mm -hmm. an actual war. This is a very, very small and limited mm -hmm. sector that's being affected. This is not mm -hmm. everyone's economy. It's not even our entire economy. Exactly. Yeah. Um, and we're working towards um, negotiations right now. So. Mm -hmm. This is more of a skirmish, and since uh, the media is blowing it way out of proportion, mm -hmm. we have created our office trade war jar. Yes. And any time on the show or just around the office, anyone says the words trade war, mm -hmm. we have to put change in the jar. And you want to tell them what we're going to do with the change? Yes. So as exciting as that is, that we're going to start censoring the trade <laughs> war uh, mania, both in our office and just kind of in our sphere day to day. But um, our goal with this change is to try and get up enough money by the annual wealth summit in December that we are going to invest that money into some company or stock or anything that is either trade war resistant or just something that will turn a profit for you. So it's definitely going to be fuller by the time we get to Vegas Absolutely. and we hope to see you there. So yeah, yeah follow you the- can add your own change to yes, our yeah. change jar. Yeah, um, so follow the trade war jars journey all the way to Vegas and we'd love to see you there. Yeah. Tickets go on sale November 1st. Yeah, so it's coming up fast. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, yeah, but so that's why we have the jar on our desk yes. and it'll probably be here from every episode from here on out yes. until Vegas. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just keep putting our money in and we'll even through this episode whenever we say it. I was gonna say, I think we owe money already. Yeah, we've already we owe a little bit. A whole bunch. So, Here's a few right. coins. Pay the um, piper. Okay, so what is a trade war? <laughs> it's gonna be a long episode, <laughs> yeah. guys. So, it's a situation in which countries try to damage each other, mm -hmm. um, typically by the imposition of tariff, tariffs and quota standards. And mm -hmm. so it's just generally putting rules on what countries can sell to each other. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a bunch of reasons why countries will do this. Mm -hmm. um, it's not always a malicious act. Yeah. Um, sometimes it's to try to maintain independence, and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Mm -hmm. But um, especially if you're newer to the financial situation mm -hmm. you may think what what is this thing a trade war that's being talked about all the time because yeah. we haven't had one in a while um the last big one that we had was probably the chicken wars in the 60s okay um, please which, tell us more about the chicken wars <laughs> Leah. which is my favorite because yes. it's a silly name and again this one was more of a skirmish than a war mm -hmm. um in the 60s america started out putting a whole lot of um chicken products okay. and they were very very cheap especially in the eu and so France and Germany imposed tariffs on American chickens because they also have a big export of chickens. Okay, yeah, um, they don't like competition, yeah. it would seem. Yes, and <laughs> so um, they taxed our chickens, and so in response, we t retaliated by imposing higher tariffs on um, French brandy and Volkswagen buses. Okay. So, kind of a funny one. <laughs> um, <laughs> but there are but, some other yeah. really big um, trade wars that have been out there. There's an opium war mm -hmm. between China and the UK mm -hmm. um, over what it is named for, um, and that one was in the 1800s. Okay, so yeah. Um, and then we have, this is the most famous for our history, the um, American Revolution. Yes. And then that is followed by the Smoot-Hawley Act, mm -hmm. um, Tariff Act, which is in 1930, and it caused everything to just shut down. Wow. Um, so if you remember your history from <laughs> high school U.S. history, yeah, yeah. Um, that's what back. that was. So that was a major trade war issue, where we just tried to shut down all trade 
um, and increase the taxes being put out on our stuff being exported to make more money for us and it just caused a lot of issues a lot of problems there <laughs> um, so that's just kind of a brief history of what trade wars are and how they've affected us in the past mm -hmm. um, it's actually a really interesting topic for mm -hmm. anybody that wants to dig deeper into it you can also yeah. see that we always came out of it all right yeah that's um, the other thing is you can see that even though these were huge events at the time they were happening and the chicken wars probably felt like a trade <laughs> war just like the one that we're going through now does but we do have to realize <laughs> that it is just a dip in the market even if it is affecting things um it's gonna turn around yeah you know? absolutely and at this point it's more of a headline than anything mm -hmm. um as i talked about in my last episode with jim mm -hmm. the market is back on track it's exactly it's moving yeah. strong um so anyway we're going to talk a little bit more about why tariffs are imposed mm -hmm. um so do you want to talk a little bit about this so yeah, of course, a tariff is, in case you didn't know, it is something that is taxed when it's either imported or exported from a country. And why countries will impose a tariff and what it does for them is that it's trying to increase the balance of goods in a country and they're trying to rely less on international good or anything else like that. Absolutely. So Yeah, so it can absolutely be because of some kind of strife between countries. Mm -hmm. It can be kind of a punch without an actual war being started mm -hmm. to try to cause politics to change or to cause trade negotiations to get better. Mm. Um, but it's just kind of a warning shot sometimes yeah. from a country to another to put mm -hmm. tariffs on stuff that's being imported or exported. Um, or it can just be because we live in a global economy and it can Very be really true. hard to keep control of your economy and the strength of your economy mm -hmm. at home when there's so much being brought in and sent out to different countries. Um, and that currently is kind of what's causing what's happening because mm -hmm. we'll look a little bit at the trade deficit with China, um, but we are severely in debt to China and yeah. we have a huge deficit and we are importing way more than we're exporting. Um, and so we're trying to fix that and mm -hmm. bring products and bring hopefully money and jobs home. Yeah, that's the goal. Um, yeah, so like I said, current trade worries, got us several. <laughs> um, I'll just put a few in there. <laughs> um, the current trade war, is between the US and China. Um, and it's currently expanding to include the EU as well. Mm -hmm. um, we have a few ta um, taxes on EU products that are going to be enacted on Friday the 18th. Yes, which is very um, soon. Yeah. So keep a lookout for those. Yeah, that actually might already be in place by the time this airs. Yeah, so. so. Yeah, so <laughs> pay attention to the headlines yeah. on that just yeah. for your own buying purposes, but mm -hmm. not for stocks. We'll yes. talk about that we'll later. We'll talk about the separation of those two things yeah. in a second. So, so yeah, what <laughs> is being taxed right now? That's a, the million dollar question is what are you going to be seeing prices change on? Um, the things that are going to affect you. As you can see, this list starts from right over here behind Leah and comes all the way over to behind me. And this is a partial list mm -hmm. of categorized items that are going to be taxed under the new Chinese uh, tariffs. So it goes anything from seafood to meat to fruit to veggies to just water. Um, basically everything is falling into this umbrella and we're gonna try and see how that affects basically everything in your day-to-day -day life from yeah. here on out. Yeah, so you may have noticed that a lot of um, your daily purchases haven't been severely affected yet, yes. um, if at all, because a lot of the taxes that are on the stuff that you'll be buying every day are just now going into effect mm -hmm. or have been postponed until December, which yes. is good news for the US buying season yes. with all the holidays coming up. Um, but there is other stuff that has already been taxed, um, including stone um, used for mm -hmm. any kind of building, um, granite, marble, cement, slate, um, metals, industrial mm -hmm. equipment. So mainly um, institutional industrial things, yeah. stuff that you're not going out and buying at Home Depot. Like, Absolutely. Yeah. It's um, companies that were bearing the first wave of costs, yeah. but the next one is unfortunately on the American consumer. Yeah. And we think that that might be some of what's causing the industrial mm -hmm. and um, slowdown that's going yeah, on right now. Is, there's this manufacturing mm -hmm. issue that's going on. Um, and part of that might be because all of our materials are being taxed. Yeah, exactly. Um, it raises costs for them. Yeah. For sure. But some of these will start to affect you and don't panic. It's just a couple cents here and there and we're going to yes. tell you how to avoid it. Yes. We will. Um, but this is just a general list of kind of what's being taxed. There are yes. a few more things and this is generalized, <laughs> but there are lots of odds and ends. Yes, yes. Um, and so in retaliation to all the things that we are taxing, because everything that we just showed you is stuff that the US is taxing that is coming into the country mm -hmm. from China. So in response, China is launching tariffs On against us. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and about $3 billion are under fire from China. So wow. a pretty big yeah. number. 
Yeah, and like I said, here's our trade deficit. So mm -hmm. you can see that we're a little bit <laughs> below we're the a standing. We're behind over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we actually have a list of our general exports um, because the U.S. is a big exporter. Um, yeah, but for our, sure. But our biggest partner is actually Canada. Um, and we have Jesus. China. Big yeah. bar right up here for you. Yeah, and China is third. So they're still a big uh, partner for us, here. but they're importing way more into our country than we are sending to theirs, mm -hmm. um, which is the cause for all the concern and why the media is hyping all this up so yes. much. Yeah, exactly. Um, so in addition to China, we have the e um, the U.S. and the EU. And I yes. know that you talked a little bit about Airbus in one of your earlier episodes. Yes. Do you want to talk about what's kind of causing this addition yeah, to the trade yeah, situation? Yeah, of course. So the reason that we have this conflict with the EU, too, in addition to the ones that we're already handling at home, is something that actually started a couple decades ago um, with Boeing and Airbus, which is the European counterpart to Boeing, which is one of America's largest airplane mm -hmm. manufacturers. Um, both sides have accused the other of unfairly subsidizing their airplane manufacturers, which what the World Tra Trade Organization says is basically it's true. Both sides have done it. Mm -hmm. um, but now they're just levying tariffs at each other back and forth, back and forth, trying to say, well, you did it and you did it. And it's yeah. this back and forth that's now impacting your goods. Um, so the EU is going to be taxing things like whiskey, um, things like wine um, that were put in place starting in 2018 because of this airplane manufacturer, like, her bubble that's going yeah, on so absolutely it's definitely been a problem in the making and mm -hmm. it's just coming to fruition now where you're going to start to see the differences yeah absolutely um and we did have another round of tariffs in 2018 if you mm -hmm. remember um where we taxed um eu imports of steel and aluminum mm -hmm. um so that caused a lot of outrage in the eu and yeah, they did threaten sure. to impose a bunch of tariffs on us but they didn't actually go through with it um, but there's some question that they might start taxing our stuff more mm -hmm. now because we are ta um, responding to the Airbus issue. Mm -hmm. um, and we're taxing a bunch of their products, including um, French and Italian wines, mm -hmm. cheeses, stuff like that. Um, and then we're also taxing all of their airplanes. Yeah. Um, yeah, so. Brings it home, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that goes into effect on Friday. So we'll gotcha. see what happens so, there. Yeah. Um, and thankfully, this is a very, very specific sector that's being affected. Mm -hmm. So this isn't going to generally affect you unless you're a wine and cheese buff, yeah. which you might be. Yes. But <laughs> so, sorry. <laughs> um, but we're going to talk a little bit now about what this means for you. Mm -hmm. um, so if you remember our last episode when we talk about keeping your emotions in check. Yes, very um, important. <laughs> yeah. So. This is just another situation, it's just another headline. And like we talked about, especially with Taylor's um, hypothetical system, Yes. Um, there's just there's a right way to do things and panicking mm -hmm. because of those headlines isn't it. Yeah. Um, so if you wanna take us a little bit through how to go about this situation. Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, so like we said, the trade war headlines are completely, um, they're just there <laughs> to make you be afraid. It's a fear mm -hmm. and greed cycle and they're trying to make you scared about the sell off and they're trying to make you fear of missing out this new buy-in that's happening and it's all about this roller coaster mm -hmm. that the talking heads are perpetuating and every time you see a new trade war development it's on oh yeah you're right thank you <laughs> it's, it's real time and you're getting every single update everything that's going through every tweet that's coming out of the white house mm -hmm. it's like oh no this is good this is bad and it's receding and retracting and it's so quick and so mm -hmm. fast and you're just reacting with the market which the market probably shouldn't be reacting the way it is yeah so it's just a emotional roller coaster and you kind of have to temper yourself and step back and realize absolutely. that this isn't as big as they're making it out to be yeah absolutely so again check your emotions at the door yes please um, <laughs> <laughs> and then keep looking for the right stocks if you don't find them they're not there maybe they will be next week exactly yes. but keep looking for them and invest using your safe systems mm -hmm. which if you follow any of or subscribe to any of our mm -hmm. products yes. you know what your system is and you know where to look mm -hmm. um, and we're going to keep handing you those safe stocks to look for yes. um, we have a couple for you today speaking of um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so our first one up is Brown Forman Corp, um, and it's the largest U.S. Um, producer of wine and spirits. Oh, nice. So um, is that theoretically an alternative? Yes, absolutely. Awesome. Um, and the chart is still a little bit wobbly, okay. um, you can see. Um, but we yeah. do have this, yeah, it's a little bit wobbly because it's a newer company. Okay. Um, and it's also got some severe competition because, okay, I mean, yeah. we are not That's the fair. top producer of mm -hmm. wine and spirits. I mean, but yeah, that belongs now to they you. have something that yeah. someone else doesn't, though, exactly. is that we don't have to worry about the tariffs on this company. Exactly, because this is a homegrown company and all of their businesses and most of what they produce is here in the U.S. Gotcha, homegrown. Yeah. And so anything that's being taxed in the trade war is... <laughs> not including this company. So especially as people stop buying those more expensive mm -hmm. goods, 
this company is going to keep rising up and it does have a strong um, rise especially this year you can see in 2019 it's got this yeah. really healthy bouncing movement starting yeah. Um, so good. hopefully that'll continue and it will jump up even more um, when all these taxes are in enacted. Over and done with, yeah. yeah. Um, so our next one is Roper Technologies. Um, and it's an industrial company. And the thing about this one is that it's a niche market. Okay. Um, and so with this one, it does have a really strong car chart. Um, yes, it did dip a little bit so. in December along with everything else. With the whole market. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's had a strong comeback and it's yeah, just a really, sure. really yeah, strong chart. Um, and the thing with this is it is a homegrown company. Um, it's American based. Mm -hmm. All their offices are in the States, um, except for I think two. Um, so a tiny number mm -hmm. are outside of the States. So any kind of pushback from mm -hmm. tariffs is not going to affect this company directly. Awesome. Um, and because they provide specified materials, mm -hmm. they are going to be able to fill the hole left by all of the industrial products that are being taxed awesome. um, coming in from China. Um, and the next one we have is Hormel Foods Corp. Um, so this is another homegrown. Mm -hmm. This has been in the States since 1891. So you probably recognize this from your grocery store, yeah. obviously. Yeah. Absolutely. So um, they specialize in meats and other packaged and refrigerated goods, mm -hmm. um, including fruits and vegetables. And even frozen goods are going to be taxed. Yeah. Um, so this is a really good alternative um, and something to definitely keep in mind just for buying brands when you're yeah, at your local grocery exactly. store. Um, and you can see that there's a pretty strong chart here, too. Um, mm -hmm. There's a little bit of irregular movement, but especially this year, it's really, really strong. Yeah, um, some good upwards action. Yeah. And it's gonna remain strong in light of everything that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is our last one. You may have heard of this company. It's Oracle Corp. Yes. Um, if you wanna tell us a little bit about this one. Yeah, of course. So Oracle Corporation is a homegrown American software company, which I'm sure you know, if you know anything about big tech, it's that they're all having problems trying to get out of China during the trade war mm -hmm. because they all have manufacturing over there, they all have products being made there, and they're basically trying to step back and like bring things back into the domestic markets. Luckily for Oracle, they've already done that. They've Absolutely. stayed pretty close to home. Um, it's a really important software service that tons of different companies use. It's actually, they service basically the entirety Fortune 100 list is what yeah. you're telling me, which obviously are huge big names that they're going to have guaranteed customers in, so they're going to do well in the coming months, and they're going to be totally superfluous to this trade war conflict. Absolutely. Yeah, so some really strong options there. And again, the chart looks good. Um, we did see some reactions in December, but mm -hmm. tech especially got hit hard yes. by that drop, mm -hmm. um, and it did recover really, really well. Yes. Um, it's doing really well this year. Good bounce back. Um, yeah, so if you want to introduce the new segment that we're going to be yes. doing. Yes, so if you guys tune in every week to Informer Spotlight, we're going to keep talking about this. We're not going to leave you high and dry and never mention it again, although we are going to continue the trade war at Swear Jar. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to keep talking about ways that you can uh, sidestep all of the different costs that are going to be incurred on you in the future if these tariffs do go into effect the way that they're set up to currently. Um, mm -hmm. So we're going to start something called everyday savings. Um, we're going to talk to you about different alternatives that you can use in uh, companies like we just introduced to you that won't be as impacted by the tariffs because with the taxes that are being implemented you're going to see a five to ten dollar increase on your grocery bill every single time you yeah. go to the store which doesn't sound like a lot although yeah, over a year that. that's over $500 extra yeah, so for nothing different. <laughs> if you buy the same things, nothing differently is gonna change except for this trade war conflict and everything that's going into it. So we're gonna try and make sure that we're keeping our eyes out and our ears to the ground to see the ways that you can bypass all of these Absolutely. effects that are gonna cost you. Yeah, and that's the taxes are between 10% and 25% yeah. on everyday goods um, already Which is hefty. enacted. Yes. Yeah, so it may not look like a lot on the individual grocery bills, mm. but just in the grocery sector, we're yeah. looking at a $500 increase on the yeah. average American bill. That's too much. Yeah, way too so much. We're gonna you try don't to even spend you your money on the trade yeah. war. Um, <laughs> so we're going to try to help you out of that. Yes. Um, so this week, our tariff tips are to stock up on non-perishables. Yes. Um, so we have a few things that you can start stocking up yes, on. Just um, have them in your, your pantry just in case. Yeah. yeah, yeah, because some of these taxes aren't actually enacted yet, mm -hmm. and the ones that are haven't necessarily hit stores yes. yet because it's stuff that's being imported currently. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and then some of these are taxes that are going to go into play mm -hmm. in December. Okay, um, yeah. So you've got a little bit of time. Yeah. Which is where this comes in. Yeah. Right? This is stuff that if you're worried about it and you just mm. want to ease the nerves. Yes jump on this stuff. Um, stuff like coffee, sugar. Mm -hmm. um, wine and spirits is a big one because that's happening that's right now. That's a big part of the next one. Yeah. yeah, so that's happening now. So jump on that. If you love French wine, if yeah. Bordeaux is your favorite brand, go, go grab get some. it. Yeah, <laughs> get it this week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then rice, um, grains. Yeah, um, definitely. 
nut soy can mm -hmm. soups yes all of this is stuff on to, yeah, yeah that's going to be taxed or already is taxed um mm -hmm. and we're going to start really seeing the effects of that we're going to see yeah. everything go up a couple cents and then a couple more cents yes. and then a couple more because the grocery stores aren't going to immediately increase all the prices yes. they're going to do it gradually to try mm -hmm. to stop the shock or maybe stop you from noticing even exactly. how much but your it may go up. under your radar and Absolutely. you don't realize how much your bill's gone up yeah yeah so if you stockpile the things that you can yes it's well, going to save you a lot you can. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's gonna save you a lot in the long run. So that's our tip for this week. Um, yes. And we'll probably have some more direct tips next mm -hmm. week. Once um, we know how this is gonna play out. Yeah, yeah, yeah cause things are still very up in the air. We're still, mm -hmm. we're in um, negotiations currently yes, again. Currently. <laughs> um, so with China to see how that's gonna go. Mm -hmm. Currently we've had, we had a scheduled rise from 25% mm -hmm. uh, to 30% taxes on a lot of things, mm -hmm. including household items. Yes. Um, but that has been pushed back. So hopefully it's good we news for the future. Hold our breath for now, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, but we're gonna try it. We've wrapped everything up on the trade war. We've explained what it is <laughs> and how it's gonna affect you. Yes. Um, and we're gonna keep giving you updates on how to stop it from affecting you yes. and affecting your wallet. Um, but from now on, it's taboo. We don't yes. need to talk no about more. it anymore. No it's not our headline, it's the talking heads headline. Yeah. We don't Leave need it. Leave it to them. Yeah. Um, so that's about everything for this week. Yeah, I think that's all we've yeah. got for you. Thanks so much for being here today. Yeah, thank you for all of your information and for giving us the Everyday Savings column that we're going to keep updating for you guys. So uh, we just want to say thank you for joining yeah. us and we hope to see you next week. Thanks for watching the latest episode of WSI TV. Be sure to visit WSITV.com where you can subscribe for free with no contract and gain instant access to the secrets of self-made millionaires via the WSI TV vault. So go ahead and claim this gift for free now at WSITV.com. <laughs>